Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. For real? G'day and welcome back to the Coco Couch. My name is Oscar and today we're going to be watching Jaws. I am very excited for this. I haven't seen it before. I know. Crazy. It's like, it's such an iconic movie. It came out in 1975. It's influenced so much of cinema that we know today. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. <laughs> I feel like I've heard this soundtrack so much growing up, but it feels so much more ominous just in the movie. <laughs> hey, yo, that was pretty open. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Something to notice too is all the hairstyles. Hey, just the styles overall. Hey, yo, <laughs> come on, buddy. <laughs> They're gonna die. <laughs> it's Jaws, everyone's gonna die. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I'm not drunk. <laughs> Only people that are drunk say, I'm not drunk. I mean, look, if he's drunk, he's doing pretty well at not falling over this many times. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Ah. Uh, I can swim. Should never go in the ocean when it's dark still. Yikes, girl. I think you are being hunted. Whoa. Whoa, the way she's being moved around. <laughs> Gee. Gee. That's it, she's gone. It really uh played with its food a little bit, didn't it? That was kind of cool, the effect of seeing her just go back and forth along the water. That was cool. See the kids? <laughs> we'll be from Boston. Like if I'm New York. Close enough. <laughs> I hit by a vampire. You guys are playing on those swings. What? There's our first sign of blood in this movie. Okay. Mate, must feel so nice to wake up next to the ocean. Be careful, will you? In this town. Hey. <laughs> That's so ironic. Be careful. In this town, you just wait, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to take that down pretty soon. Oh boy. She must have drowned. Look, I reported to you, didn't I? I wonder if they're just gonna find like an arm. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, this guy's seen something. They found the corpse? How much did uh the shark take? Ugh. Gross. Yeah, what happens to bodies in in like water after they've been in it for a while is disgusting. Yeah, and then what else would it be, right? Hey, Chief. Where do we keep the beach clothes Chief. signs? Chief. We never had it. No? Chief. Well, if they're going to close the beach, I wonder how there's going to be more shark attacks, right? What's he up to? Oh, right. He's getting the equipment to make the sign to stay off the beach. Polly sent me to find you to tell you that there's a bunch of Boy Scouts out on April Day doing their mile swim for their merit badge. Oh, boy. Not a bunch of Boy Scouts. We had a shark attack at South Beach this morning, man. Fail! I got a batten down the beach. Yikes. Martin, you, you gonna shut down the beaches on your own authority? Oh, here we go. No. It's your first summer, you know. What does that mean? We need summer dollars. If people can't swim here, they'll be glad to swim at the beaches of Cape Cod. Mm -hmm. Possibly, uh, yes, a boating That's not what boating you told me over the phone. Gee. I was wrong. You yell shark. We've got a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. That's, mate, that's so typical, isn't it? It's always the reason why innocent people get killed in movies like this. It's always motivated by the money. It's a shame, too, just for business, right? If they let all the people go to the beach anyway, and people start dying, no one's going to come back. Oh, no, not the kid. Who's gonna go? 
just stay there all day. Just make sure if someone gets attacked by a shark, you've witnessed it. That's a person, mate. <laughs> but I guess he's paranoid, right? Hey, Marty, I know you got a lot of the house. I can't get down to the office and that garbage. Hey, it's gotta be Fine, <laughs> fine. Listen, if the kids go on, it's Ah, yes, attack the children. <laughs> when all of them go in. You don't go in the water at all, do you? Some bad hat, Harry. I love how just everything is preventing him from doing his job right now. And also building up so much suspense for this shark attack. Of course it's the dog that went first. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa. Oh, dude, you're kidding me. I was not expecting all that blood. Oh, gosh. All the parents running in to get their kids, too. Hey, that was a really cool shot that zoomed on his face. That was awesome. Oh, it was her kid, was it? Oh, this poor woman. Do you have another son? Hey, I'm happy with democracy, but I get frustrated in movies when, like, individuals in the public think that they know the exact right course of action. Is that $3,000 bounty on the shark in cash or check? <laughs> I don't think that's funny at all. I normally say she was a Karen, but I kind of agree with her. It's a bit of a morbid subject. I just want to tell you what we're planning so far. We're going to try and use uh, shark spotters on the beach. Are you going to close the beaches? Yes, we are. You're kidding me. They're upset about it. A woman's son just died. Two people just died. Hours. Did you hear that woman? 24 hours is like three weeks. <laughs> Gee. Oh. Wait, hold on. Is this the first time someone's done this in a movie? Because I've seen this reference everywhere. Damn. What a salesman, though. Thank you very much, Mr. Quint. He made himself sound like it was worth $10,000. Mr. Mayor, Chief, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bro, what a, what a start to his character. Hope he doesn't get killed, you know. That's really responsible, reading up on sharks and trying to find out how this thing thinks. <laughs> oh, God. You scared me. I, that, is, that is so typical when someone sneaks up on you and like they freak you out and they say, Oh, you scared me when you get scared. Gosh. All right, Michael, out of the boat. He's not on the ocean. He is in a boat. He's not going to go in the water. I don't think he'll ever go in the water again after what happened yesterday. Yeah, but what if he falls in accidentally? That can always happen. Kids are stupid. I want him to read the boating regulations, the rules, you know, before he goes out. Michael! <laughs> did you hear your father out of the water now? Yeah, there you go. Now you understand. Call the day, Ruth. Don't worry about it. I'll treat it. And... Yeah. I guess this is uh, when we ask the question, how intelligent is this shark, right? Are sharks, like, territorial? Like, is, there, is it possible that there are two sharks? Or three? You know? <laughs> Bro! Oh, is the whole wharf gonna go? <laughs> <laughs> you best get out of that water. Dude! Dude! Get off it! Stop! Oh. Bye-bye. What your name is? George? Fred? Oh, it's going around. Yep. <laughs> I think this is your last time on the planet, Charlie. Oh, there we go. Charlie lived to see another day. Tell you what, whenever I see someone in a movie swimming like this, like, 
I'm like, dude, how valuable is your life to you? <laughs> Hello. Hello back. You're not going out with those nuts, are you? Yes, he is. He's a main character, I can tell. But you're overloading that boat. Oh, 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 oh. Gee. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> sakes, you're the guy we called. I'm Brody. I'm Brody. Oh, oh I'm very glad to meet you. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to meet you Listen, too. Listen, I think the best thing for me to do is to uh, see the remains of the first victim, the girl on the beach. Yeah, get a the gist of its size, right? Hey, right. they just think it's like a hunting party. They're just having a good old time. Oh goodness me. <laughs> Bro, what? I don't think this is exactly the right way to go about things. <laughs> the torso has been severed in mid-thorax. And did you notify the Coast Guard about this? No. It's only local jurisdiction. So this is what happens. Damn. In I'm impressed with the makeup. Didn't you get out of boat and check out these waters? No. Well, this is not a boat accident. It was a shark. Okay, so there was more than one shark. They got a shark. There we go, now they're gonna get a false sense of confidence. And everyone's gonna be back on the beach. Ah, this is not good, this is not good at all. <laughs> I'm glad that as an Australian, I can say that I've never seen a great white shark in my life. <laughs> oh no, he's so happy too. Bro, you're about to be disappointed. And what kind of shark? Tiger shark. What? A lie? It is not the shark. It probably is, Martin. It probably is. It's a man eater. It's extremely rare for these waters. Bite radius on this animal is different than the wounds on the victim. Just hear him out. The digestive system of this animal is very, very slow. Let's cut it open. Whatever it's eaten in the last. This guy's such a good diplomat. The way he was like just affirming how he felt. Like this could be the shark. I'm telling you, you're probably right. But and then goes on to give him information. It's very. Very good. What the hell was that for? The girl got killed here last week. And you knew it. You knew it was dangerous. I get it. And there's nothing you can do about it. I, I do understand. I get it. That's such a typical thing to do when you're grieving, right? Over a loss is to just try to blame something. Particularly something that is alive. It wasn't enough to just be... To blame the shark, right? You know, she had to take her out of her grief on someone. But hey, that's that's humans. We do that all the time. I'm just afraid that one of his kids are going to get killed. <laughs> he's mimicking his dad. I love that. You can tell that he's his hero. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give us a kick, cause I need it. I'm not gonna lie, that's probably my favorite scene so far in this movie. That was so subtle, I love that. Oi, that kid better not get killed, eh? Here we go, bearer of bad news. I'm gonna go to the institute tomorrow and tell them that you still have a shark problem there. Mighty have to tell them that, sorry. Damn, just like that. They caught a shark, not the shark that killed G. Watkins. Which I wanted to prove today by cutting the shark open. <laughs> he does not care. He needs that. <laughs> Mark and Kate's boats. I guess it's a childhood thing. It's, uh, it's a clue for me. Oh, there we go. He's got a background in trauma. Why don't we have one more drink and go down and cut that shark open? Coffee? He's not going to have any peace until he figures out this shark's dead, right? Oh. Oh, the white. It ate a number plate? <laughs> you still got a hell of a fish out there. With a mouth about this big. We've got a good chance of spotting him between Cape Scott and South Beach. Well, if we're looking for a shark, we're not going to find him on the land. Yeah, but I'm not drunk enough to grab the boat. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I thought this would be quite boring, not going to lie, just because of the time I was born, you know? But this is very entertaining. The pacing's really good. In 25 years, there's never been a shooting or a murder in this town. You want a pretzel? I think he needs some pretzels, man. He's a bit drunk. Doesn't make much sense for a guy who hates the water to live on an island, either. It's only an island if you look at it from the water. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that was actually, that was actually really witty. At 100 yards south-southwest. 
Whose boat is this? Someone was out here earlier? Oh boy. Sharks picking off people from the town one by one, is it? The cinematography is really good. Like, look at this. Don't touch any of the equipment. Dude, are you sure you want to go in? Nah, I couldn't do that. No way. I'm terrified of deep, like, ocean water at any time. But at night? Oh, oh you got a tooth. Oh, Jesus! Oh. 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 For real? <laughs> oh, my adrenaline just... Oh. This is a great white, Larry. If you open the beaches on the 4th of July, it's like ringing the dinner bell, for Christ's Look, sake. Where, where is that tooth? Did you see it, Brody? No, I didn't see it. He, he dropped it. Yet. I had an accident. No, we depend on the summer people here for our very lives. Oh, you are not going gosh. To I'm not going to waste my time arguing with a man who's lining up to be a hot lunch. I'm going to see you later. This guy is so arrogant. It's unbelievable. And the chief of police is getting blamed for it. We will be open for business. It's going to be one of the best summers we've ever had. Is it wrong that I want him to be one of the victims to the shark attacks? <laughs> ah, here we go. Welcome, victims. Today is your lucky day. <laughs> I don't even see them as people anymore. I kind of just see them as food now because <laughs> of the situation. I'm sorry, but I can't enjoy going to the beach when it's that full. Why aren't you in the water? Uh, well, trying to absorb Nobody's some of going in. Please. Oh, your mate just tells you, please, go in the water. It's so dumb too because the mayor is literally getting what he wants, right? All the people are turning up to the beach. You know, he's getting his, you know, businesses booming. But it's not enough still. Yeah, the poor parents. If you're that worried, why are you in the water? The shark's just out there like, finally. Okay, when's the music going to kick in? I want to hear the da 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 Oh, hello! Go! Alert everybody! Everyone's not screaming! S yell shark! Oh, these people getting squashed? You're kidding me! What legends! I love those kids, man! Hey, everyone's a lot safer for it! Oh no, that's where the kids are! Now I'm frustrated with those kids because as much as they got everyone out of the water, it's the boy who cried wolf now, right? Oh no. That's all it took? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Is there not one person that can help? Oh, okay. Right. Okay. I get it. I get it. Doctor said he's okay. Mild shock. He can go home in the morning. Thank you. Bring coffee. Coffee. He wants coffee? <laughs> Someone ought to punch this mayor in the face. I'll take him home. <laughs> Daddy's got to take care of some business. I'm sorry. I, I'm truly sorry. I'm going to sign this voucher so I can hire a contractor. I, I don't I don't know if I can do that without I'm going to hire Quint to kill the shark. Is he in shock too? Like he's my kids were on that beach too. Okay. Sign it, Larry. That's what it took. This is kids' lives. I'm glad the mayor's finally on board. You buy the lunch. Two cases. Yeah, <laughs> this guy is an expert. some poor dogfish or sand shark. I'm talking about finding a great white. Just tie me a sheep shank. Hmm. You didn't say how short you wanted it. How's that? Give me your hands. <laughs> you got city hands, Mr. Hooper. You've been counting money all your life. All right, all right. All right. Hey, I don't need this. I don't need this working class hero crap. Yeah, yeah, shut up, mate. I'm sensing a lot of arrogance in this movie from just all sorts of characters. Anti-shark cake. Inside the cage. Well, I'm the dude to you, fair 
Spanish ladies. Heard lots of stories of people that have been in those shark cages where they've broken in and killed you. I put an extra pair of glasses in your black socks and, and there's the stuff you know, the zinc oxide. <laughs> oh, that's so cute, her trying to take care of him. What am I going to tell the kids? Tell them I'm going fishing. <laughs> That's badass. What do I tell the kids? I'm going fishing. I feel like the police chief, he's so like humble and he doesn't talk a big game at all. And but compared to every character in this movie, he just seems like the most competent and badass, you know? Oh, he'll be fine. Just take care of your kids. <laughs> that's dramatic. Oh, that's a cool shot into the jaws of a great white. Oh, I love this kind of vibe. It's like an encouraging sense of adventure. Don't think it's going to be exactly that. <laughs> oh, gee. This is compressed air. You screw around with these tanks and they're going to blow up. All right. When's our big boy going to appear? <laughs> he heard that tick. Oh, that's cool. He's got like that harness. You can tell he is very competent. I got it. What? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Move it! Reverse her! Get the scoop out of the bucket! Whip the reel! See, man, you needed them. Oh, he ain't fooling me. He's gone under. He's a smart. Fish, he's down under the boat. Not a shark. The wire's showing. Some tuna. Grab the leader, Hooper. Oh, here we go. Is this another one of those situations where the audience is tricked into thinking they've got they haven't got the shark and then the shark appears? Definitely a game <laughs> Oh no. Proves that you wealthy college boys don't have the education enough to admit when you're wrong. Too many strong personalities in the same space is not great. Well, See, when you behave like that, it's so petty. Let Hooper take a turn. <laughs> drives the boat, Chief. So sick of the smell. Oh, that would, that would smell wretched. Just waiting for this shark to just turn up, just out of the blue. <laughs> I can go slow ahead. Come on down and chump some of this shit. <laughs> He's being so arrogant. <laughs> just turn around and walk back slowly. <laughs> You're gonna need a bigger boat. Oh, that's what the quote's from? Of course it is. I'm such an idiot. Shut up that engine. Gee, that's a thick boy. Yeah, even he's shocked. Far out. I think you're gonna need a bazooka. Oh, dude, be careful. <laughs> this is not a good time to be dealing with your fear of water. <laughs> go back, go back, go back. That's the end of this line to the first king. Hooper, get clear of the bow. Hooper, tie it up, will you? Hurry it up now, tie it on. Yeah, you best hurry, bro. Mate. That was too close. What's he thinking? He's probably just excited he saw a shark that massive. <laughs> that was a weird transition. Mate, you'd be exhausted. I see something permanent. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> I got that beat. Some moray eel. Entered an arm wrestling contest in Loki Bar of San Francisco. You see this? Now I can't extend this. You know why? Big Chinese fella, he pulled me right off. The contest has begun. <laughs> I can feel the testosterone in the air. <laughs> it's cool to see uh, the characters actually, you know, 
having a good time and relating. See, I feel like in old older movies like this compared to the movies we see nowadays, it's so clear their characterization and like their personalities and traits. It's so clear and it makes them so much more endearing. But today it's like, for some reason, just a lot of movies struggle to capture characters' personality and like their nuance, you know? This is why I love movies like this. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I'd see the police chief loosen up so much. You on the Indianapolis? What happened? Japanese submarine slammed two torpedoes into our side chief. The island of Tinian Delady just delivered the bomb, the Hiroshima bomb. Seven hundred men went into the water. Didn't see the first shot for about half an hour. But mm. our bomb mission had been so secret. No distress signal had been sent. Sharks come through. That shark, he looks right into you. Right into your eyes. Like he's got lifeless eyes. Black eyes, like a doll's eye. Until he bites you. And those black eyes roll over white and then double high pitch screaming. Rip you to pieces. <laughs> Baseball player. Bobbed up and down in the water. It was like a kind of top. He'd been bitten in half below the waist. Terrifying. The whole 1,100 men went in the water. 360 men come out. The sharks took the rest, June 29th, 1945. What a terrifying story. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to the beach for at least another month. I'm not, nah, not after this. That's nuts. Hey, you gotta give props to uh the actor that just did that monologue. You could just see the, the memory of what happened in his eyes. Oh, it's nearby. <laughs> it's just chilling nearby. No! For real? <laughs> Dude, that's terrifying. That reminds me of that shot from uh, A New Hope with Han Solo underneath in the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, you don't want to be holding that rope when it goes. Oh, gee. Hello. Oh, didn't let go. I'm going to make a phone call. Mayday, Orca. Coast Guard, it's the Orca. Do you read me? Hey, yo, what? Wait, what? What the hell, dude? Oh, boy. Now they have no choice but to take it out themselves. He's a big boy. All right, hold your course. Mate, how fast do sharks normally move? I can see how this would be fun though. <laughs> the guy comes out with his revolver. Oh, come on, bro. Damn! Let's go. I guess that's the only way they'll take it out, right? That's right, it'll lock itself up. Oh no! No! Dude! That could have been real bad. Yeah, dude. Gee. Gee. Oh. Oh, that was way too close, man. Dang it. Too slow, bro. Can't stay down with three barrels on it. Not with three barrels, he can. We're gonna sink, aren't we? Too bad. Yeah, they might, hey. Gee. Ah, oh, dang it, mate! We're heading in, Brody. Thank Christ. Please don't put that much pressure on me. Whoa, dude! Was that the tank? What's he thinking? That's that's awful. Like, why would you even have life jackets at this point? 
if you know that the second you're in the water, you're dead. What exactly can you do with these things of yours? Finally! Well, I think I can pump 20 cc's of strychnine nitrate into him. Can you get him close enough to this cage? I think I can get him in the mouth or that the eye. shark will rip that cage to pieces. You got any better suggestions? Yeah, dude, you're gonna sink. Shut up. Mate. <laughs> I was like, at this point, you're all aware you're probably going to die. Like, you'd go with any plan, right? Try to off the lower. Oh. My gosh. People said this movie gave them nightmares after it. I wasn't sure until now. The way the music follows the shark. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, God. Oh, there's no way. Dude. It's breaking the cage. Yeah, go up, go up, go up. I'm surprised he didn't go straight for the spear thing. Gee. Yeah, they're thinking it's done. That would have been the perfect time to do it. Oh no. No. Oh. Oi, oi, nah. Okay, I'm not going back in the water. Oh, you're. Mate, this thing is... You just ate a human, bro. How are you still going? Smart. Big brain. Hopefully it just explodes from the inside. Ah, uh, yeah, smart. Shoot the tank. Yes! Yes, mate! <laughs> yes! Smile, you son of a bitch! <laughs> that was great. And this is mate. Hey, buddy. Oi, how sad would it be if they just got killed by a smaller shark? <laughs> yeah, I'd be laughing too after that. Yeah, no, nothing like an experience like that to make the trauma that you already had previously even worse. <laughs> Just compounded. All right, I mean, that was uh, surprisingly good considering how old the movie is. I honestly went in thinking, like, obviously I was optimistic going in, but I'm totally aware that as someone who was born in the year 99, you know, I have the disadvantage of not really being able to appreciate older films as much as uh, people who are born uh, much earlier. And, you know, sometimes I go into movies like this trying my hardest to kind of put myself in the shoes of people who saw the movies come out much earlier so I can appreciate how well the movies were made. And I think that sort of attitude really serves the experience watching this movie quite a lot. Obviously, a lot of um, movies I've seen have kind of desensitized me to ways that violence is represented in movies. Um, but I felt like watching this, it was just, I, I think they did a brilliant job at the time of like creating suspense and really creating that terror when you watch it. I felt like the story was really basic, which was great. The characters, pretty simple but you know very realistic sort of characters which i always appreciate but i think the movie sort of excelled in creating that tone that vibe of just complete terror and uncertainty i just felt like so often through the movie for a solid five to ten minutes before someone would get killed i was just like holding my breath going like when's it gonna happen when's it gonna happen um which was really, really effective. For a two hour movie, it felt a lot shorter than that. Uh, I had a really good time. I had a really good time watching this movie. I'm really enjoying watching older movies like this one. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've been enjoying these videos. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I did. So I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.